Grew up in the small town of Sheridan, Indiana. My dad ran a garage there and ran about 100 sows on a farm about eight miles north of town. So we would uh, uh, close up the garage and jump in the truck and run out and try to do chores. And it was a terrible way to raise hogs, but that's the way we did it. So uh, so I grew up with a hog background, attended Purdue University. And during the course of my studies at Purdue, I ended up taking a sales course. As part of the sales course, I had to uh, make a sales presentation to an outside salesman and uh, there was a new hog vaccine that had just come out and, and I picked that for my presentation and ended up uh, presenting to a gentleman who uh, was an employee of the company that I've worked for for, for 40 some years now. And uh, I impressed him enough with uh, my presentation that uh, he said something to uh, uh, the founder of the company and they called me in for an interview and, and that's how I ended up with my position through that, through that sales course. My day used to be traveling uh, to see three or four farms a day, uh, uh, visiting with customers, uh, walking through barns. Uh, now if I, uh, if I see pigs, it's, it's by appointment uh, well ahead of time and, and with plenty of time to plan and not be around other animals. Uh, a lot more business conducted by phone and email now. I, I, uh, I still make my rounds, but uh, very carefully. Uh, and uh, don't see near as many people per month as I used to. Well, Brant's been a great sales representative to our farm, uh, representing uh, United Animal Health and the, the hog industry in the state of Michigan especially. He's maintained a great working relationship with all of the farms that he does business with and does anything he can do to help the farm uh, be successful and especially the feed side of the farm, but also in other, other areas of operations as well. Brant started to come over and visit us, but I had known him by reputation before that. And he always had a, had a great reputation amongst the, the uh, swine producers in the west part of the state where he most generally worked. So um, he would come over and uh, he would give us ideas on uh, different nursery things to try, um, was very good in the finisher as far as telling us uh, how we could save or make more money. Um, he also uh, was very good at, uh, at uh, interpreting the records of all the customers that were on the records system to you know, say, well, this seems to work here, this doesn't work there, those kinds of things. And also, they've had some, some probiotic type work that uh, some of those products we used and used successfully because uh, Brant introduced them to us. So. Ironically, my favorite part was getting into the barns and looking at the animals, and, and I don't get to do that near as much. But interacting uh, with my customers, I, I have some great people uh, that I've dealt with uh, over the years and, and really cherish those uh, relationships and those interactions. The, the other part of the job I really enjoy is the technology. Um, this business just keeps changing and, and getting more involved. Uh, uh, we've gotten into offering uh, microbials now and that's a whole new science and, and I really enjoy that and, and learning how those micro microbials can uh, improve animal performance and, and uh, help our customers out. Been married to uh, my wife Sherry since 1979. We have four children. Um, Stacy and Betsy and Brandy and Schaefer. Schaefer and Stacy have both uh, worked on customers' farms in, in the farrowing room, so I'm proud to say that they, they, have, some, they have some background. We got, we got them exposed a, a little bit. The kids are grown and doing well, and we're very proud of all of them. Enjoy fishing and hunting and camping. Uh, karate is probably my biggest hobby right now. And, uh, I study an Okinawan form of karate, which some people call old man's karate, so it fits me very well. I don't have to do jump spinning kicks, so I keep both feet on the ground and just kind of punch and kick and get my exercise that way. Brant was very happy when I started brewing beer because uh, I, I could always count on him to uh, take a six pack home with him and, and, and give, me, give me good feedback. So in addition to, uh, to nutrition work, he also did uh, quality control work on my beer making. So um, that's, that's probably one of the things, and, and we still do when I do talk to him, I, I, we still do, I still do ask him what's, 
what's good over there in Holland. So um, in that respect, uh, uh, Brant's just a great guy and, and uh, certainly deserving of this award. I, I think we're going to continue to um, learn more and more about this animal. It's a, it's a fascinating animal. Uh, it's been around forever and we keep thinking we know all about it, but we learn every day uh, that, that, that there's a different way to do things. Um, customers come up with different way to do things. Uh, um, I tell people that I, I make my living by being a good parrot. I've never had many original ideas, but what one producer tells me can help another producer and, and uh, I'm kind of the conduit for, for moving that information around. So uh, that's, that's really part of the joy I have, being able to uh, uh, help a customer solve a problem and usually it's with something that, that another producer has told me how they handled the same problem. So yeah.